Uh, hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. Uh, today we want to go through the experiment number five. This experiment, I hope you have time to go uh, through on it in your lecture sessions. It's about the electromotive force, EMF, which we introduced it with this equation. A little bit I want to explain about the theoretical part of this experiment. Then we will go uh, to uh, doing the experiment together and uh, define our measure uh, and our data and do our calculation. Uh, actually, first let me say the aim of this experiment is defined mu zero over four pi. As you see, I wrote experiment means exp means implies the uh, the experimental value for mu zero over four pi. The theoretical one or the real one, which we have to discuss about in the first experiment, is about 10 to the power of minus 7 T, which is Tesla, meter per ampere. Okay, so uh, I will remind you again the uh, units, but let me uh, start with the equation for EMF, electromotive force, is equal to minus D phi, which is the magnetic flux over DT. Okay. So let's define the, uh, the uh, magnetic flux as the integral of B, this magnetic field times uh, current, A. Sorry, uh, it's not current, sorry. Uh, it is the uh, A times A. It's B, A, cosine theta in a scalar form. Okay. Then the magnetic field is equal to, for, for two solenoids, uh, it here is for one solenoid first, mu zero n one i zero sine two pi f t t is time f is our frequency and two pi is a constant so uh, for writing phi b we can combine these two equations together and write it a mu zero n one n two i zero sine two pi f t <coughs> okay for defining the electromotive force, we have to take derivative of this equation to write it in this form. So EMF for two solenoid is N1, N2, I0, 2 pi F, cosine 2 pi FT. If we call I0 cosine 2 pi FT as I, then we can uh, simplify our equation in this form. But let's uh, compare this equation with the equation of a third line, which is y is equal to mx plus c. In from physics 101, we have uh, understood that uh, the coefficient of the variation in a third line equation is equal to our slope, which here we will define the slope, and c is our y-intercept. I put zero here by purpose to show you that our y-intercept is equal to zero, it means that our graph at the end must pass from the origin of the, gra uh, origin of the uh, coordinate, then if we suppose, because in this experiment we are varying current to define EMF, it means that uh, the rule of current here is the same as x, is our variation, to define EMF as y. So the coefficient of our variation, which is a mu zero n one n two two pi f, a is area, a is our area, which here I uh, mentioned by mistake. Sorry, it's area. Then is equal to our slope. So a mu zero n one n two two pi f is our frequency, is equal to our slope. So here, if I put m is a slope, it's not mass m equal to a mu zero n1 n2 2 pi f after arranging our equation i can define mu zero over 4 pi as a slope over a n1 n2 8 pi square f now we are looking for this equation after we define our uh, data after we gather after our measurement we just substitute our data here to define our mu zero over four pi which is the experimental value of this experiment then we compare it with the theoretical one which is 10 to the power of minus seven uh, then uh, to define our error percentage let's go to do the experiment 
as you see here, we have two different solenoids. One of them is a smaller one, which it, uh, we want to uh, put it inside of the bigger one. And we have the voltmeter and the functional gener uh, generator. Uh, with this device, we want to read the current. And according to the explanation of the uh, manual, it's written that it adjusts the frequency as 10.7 times to uh, times 10 to the power of minus 3. So we adjust it. It's fluctuating between 10.69 and 70. So we adjust it. And then, uh, in according to the manual, the first, uh, second page actually, it's the theoretical part, which I've explained it on the board. And the third part, your third page, is related to the Mm, uh, experiment that we want to collect our data. Look at the first table. Actually, we have just one table. You look at the table. We want to vary the current as uh, the fixed uh, value, which is given in the manual, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. By varying the current, we want to measure and read our electromotive force from the voltmeter. Okay, but another point here is in milliampere, so then we have to convert it to SI unit of current, which is ampere. Uh, there are some other points that I will explain you. In these two solenoids, uh, there are some numbers which is written on them, as you see in the smaller one and one in the bigger one. As I've introduced you and defined the equation for defining the mu zero over four pi, which I explained you how to define it. As you see, m is a slope, which we will define it. But we need the other parameters in denominator as a, area, n1, n2, h pi square, which is in parentheses we have constant, and frequency. Frequency is given 10.7 times 10 to the power of minus 3. We need N1, N2, and A. So what is N1? N1 is the number of uh, wires around the bigger one. So it is 490, which is written on it. And N2 is 300, the number of the wires around the, this uh, cylinder. It's 300. There is another uh, parameter which to define the mu zero over 4 pi, we have to define it. And it's written in your manual as equation 5.7 A. We have to find A. OK, the area is a circle. It's uh, pi r square. We have pi. To define r, which is converted to meter, it's phi over 2. This phi is diameter. It's not flux, it's diameter. So how much is this phi? Again, to define this phi, it's written on it, as you see, it's 33 millimeter. We convert it to meter, so instead of phi, you just substitute 33. So 33 over 2 times 10 to the power of minus 3 gives us the A. Don't forget to square it. Okay, we have a square. Then, now uh, it's a time to collect our EMF data. First, when i is equal to 10, let's go and adjust it when i is equal to 10. When i is equal to 10, okay, when it is 0, it is 0. Okay. So we should put this a small one inside the bigger one and then change the current as written on the table. Okay, when current is ten. Okay. Our EMF is 0 0.109. Okay. 
then it is 220, sorry, 0 0.251, 0 0.251, then it is 30, I want to be accurate, so 0 0.360, Then it is 40. We are increasing our current. So our EMF is proportional to current, so it is increasing as well. 0 0.494. 0 0.494. Yes, 50. Zero point six hundred thirty five. Then it is fifty zero point six hundred thirty five sixty and the seventy is last one. No zero point seven hundred seventy three. Seven hundred seventy three and seventy. Okay, zero point nine hundred thirty. That's it. Now our table is completed. Okay. Now for defining the slope. We have to enter our data to a table in Excel. So, and draw our graph to find the equation and we find the slope to substitute in our equation to define the mu zero over four pi. I entered all data in, uh, in the Excel file. We have two columns in our table, I in ampere. I converted all data which were in milliampere in ampere. And then the second one shows our value for EMF. Then when you enter your data, the graph will appear. See, this equation is the most important part of this experiment, okay? Uh, I hope you remember I explained you that uh, the y-intercept the of this equation is uh, almost zero. So see, this value is too small. So we expect our graph pass from this value when it wants to cut the y-axis. And this is our slope, 13.325. This value will go instead of m, which is in nominator of mu zero over four pi of equation to define the result of this experiment. Let me show you again in the board. Can we have it? Thank you. Here. So our slope, according to the graph, is 13.325. Then, I told you how to define A. Our A is equal to pi 33 over 2 times 10 to the power of minus 3 a square. We had n1 and n2 and A pi a square uh, was, uh, it's constant and F was 1 point, it was 10 point, it was written here, yes, 10.7 times 10 to the power of minus 3. When you enter all this data and define the experimental mu 0 over 4 pi, we have the real value as well, 10 to the power of minus 7. So define the uh, error percentage for us in this experiment. And uh, we have some questions that we expect you to answer them. Uh, again, uh, I think there is nothing more in this manual. Uh, I think we are done. This experiment is done. So if you have any question, you know how to find us.